Addison Rae has been expanding her career opportunities after hitting it off on TikTok. But it does appear that sometimes things are not going according to her plans. Let's go ahead and find out what we're talking about. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the Celebrity Ring. For this video, we will discover how Addison Rae got fired from UFC hosting after major criticism. But before anything else, please leave a like on the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell down below so you won't miss our future videos that we post either. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and hop right on to the video. Addison Rae Easterling is an American social media star and dancer. She was born on October the 6th, 2000. Addison Rae started enthusiastically sharing content on her TikTok account in July 2019. Her followers on TikTok reached over 81 million by July 2021. She was also named as the highest paid content creator on TikTok by Forbes in 2019. She ranked third in most followed content creators on TikTok with only Charlie D'Amelio being in first and Kaby Lam as the second. She has also made her way into the film industry. Currently, she is starring in the movie to be released on October 27th, He's All That. Her very first single is entitled Obsessed and that was released on March the 18th, 2021. Addison began professional dancing at the age of 6, competing in contests all over the country. Before going to Los Angeles to continue her TikTok career, the dancer went to Louisiana State University for a semester to study sports broadcasting, but dropped out when her TikTok following exploded. Ray first entered TikTok in July 2019, posting dancing videos to famous songs on the platform. She's been a member of the TikTok collaborative group The Hype House since its formation in December 2019. Ray gained over 1 million followers on TikTok in just a few months and then decided to leave LSU in November. I remember that's when it changed for me, Ray told Business Insider in April 2020. I knew I wanted to take it more seriously and expand it to other platforms. I uploaded a video to YouTube and got really active on Instagram. Ray's tremendous success led her and her parents to signing with talent agency WME in January 2020. Ray teamed up with American Eagle in July for the brand's AEXME Back to School 20 commercials, which included the brand's first virtual photo shoot, which also included Addison's shots in her bedroom owing to the COVID-19 outbreak. In July 2020, Addison and her mother debuted Mama Knows Best, a weekly podcast on their personal and professional life that is exclusive to Spotify. Addison has also established her own cosmetics line, Item Beauty, which she co-founded with the beauty company made by Collective and will manage the majority of the brand's goods as Chief Innovation Officer. The ever-talented Addison Rae also recently obtained a new job as a UFC correspondent, and she's been fired according to Deadline. Ray, who covered a preliminary event for Saturday's UFC 264, enraged several fans by posting photos of herself covering the event with the comment joking about her qualifications for the job. I studied broadcast journalism in college for three whole months to prepare for this event, she wrote on Twitter on July 9th. The tweet attracted criticism on social media, with some accusing Ray of having zero self-awareness and stealing a position from more competent real journalists. It's the way you worded the caption for me, one wrote. Very exciting that you got this opportunity, but many broadcast journalism majors who spent four years studying won't ever get a chance like this because they aren't social media famous. Still happy for you though. Another person even added, this is disrespectful to all the people who go to college and work their butts off for the jobs like this and sometimes don't even get them because Addison has clout and she gets them over qualified sports journalists. Despite the huge criticism of Ray's tweet, several rallied to her defense. People tell you to get a real job and then are mad when you get one, shaking my head, one wrote. Another person simply said, LOL, people mad at Addison as if she really stole a job from someone. She's obviously there for publicity and if it wasn't for her, it was going to be a different celebrity. This is not a new concept. Nonetheless, the incident did little to help Ray's brief reporting career as a famous TikTok account claimed she was fired shortly after starting with UFC. She tweeted on July 10th, one day after her UFC debut. Never mind, y'all got me fired. Ray was never a UFC reporter, according to a person close to the matter, and she was never fired from her employment. She did one social activation for UFC, where she interviewed Dustin because they're from the same town. Lafayette, the source told E! News, she's not, nor was she ever, a correspondent. She'll be at the fight tonight, but just as a spectator, there were never any plans for her to have any further official responsibilities. 
Anyways, guys, that's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys go ahead and hit that like button and let us know down in the comment section down below. Also, make sure you guys subscribe to Celebrity Ring and enable post notifications so you never miss out on any future videos we'll produce for you guys. Anyways, we are signing off for now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one. Peace.